Too much insulin will kill you. That's right. It's not just diabetics who are receiving a shot of insulin every day. It's all of us. Why? The pancreas, through its beta cells, secretes insulin whenever we eat. It's normal. It's natural. Anytime that we have carbohydrates of any source, whether it's from a vegetable like carrots or zucchini or broccoli, or whether it's from a nice juicy steak, as I like to eat, or whether it's from a carrot or an apple, the body must, absolutely must, secrete insulin because that's how it absorbs those sugars and gets them into the cells of the body for energy. Okay, that's the good part. The bad part is when we eat too much of the carbohydrates at one time, or if we've accumulated over a lifetime a consumption of carbohydrates and now we're overweight, well, guess what? The body's going to be secreting insulin all the freaking time, and eventually your body gets resistant to it. Almost like an alcoholic who can have eight drinks and not feel tipsy. He can maybe even drive home and be fine. I don't recommend it. But similarly to our bodies with insulin, that's just another substance, another hormone to be specific, that insulin increases and increases and increases and does less and less for you the more addicted you've become to it. Specifically, the higher your carbs are, the more resistant you're going to be to that insulin. So what's the problem with having insulin secreted all day long in huge copious amounts throughout your body? Well, first of all, it's going to kill you. Anybody who's a diabetic and has been prescribed insulin has been trained to very carefully monitor his injections of insulin. Why? Because if you overdo it, it will kill you. So insulin, although it's necessary for us in the proper amounts, it can be toxic and it is related to cancer, to Alzheimer's, to accelerated aging. In other words, getting old faster than you need to and than God intended. All these kinds of things are a consequence of what we call insulin resistance. It's where your body needs more and more and more of the same substance to get the same effect. What are the factors that contribute to insulin resistance? This is a simple one. The first one is being overweight. And I'll post a chart here later as to what the proper weights are for men. Not ideal, but just proper, healthy. I'll post that separately. Overweight is number one. Number two, eating too many damn carbs. If you're having more than 100 or 120 grams of carbs per day, you're eating too damn many carbs. Switch that for fats. You will immediately see an improvement in your insulin resistance. You will see an improvement in, if you're headed now for diabetes, you will see that reverse course quickly. That's what I did. So number one, being overweight. Number two, eating too many carbs in a day. Number three, eating constantly, not giving your body a break between meals. You should be giving your body at least three hours be between one meal and the next. The body is not made to eat and digest constantly. So that's the third factor. And the fourth one, this is one that's a little more sophisticated and some guys don't talk about it. Eating at the wrong hour. That's right. When God put us on this earth, there wasn't electricity, man. We hadn't discovered uh, fossil fuels. We didn't have hydrocarbons. We had this kind of daylight only in the day. We didn't have artificial light, right? So when the hell do you think we went and hunted or picked our berries or grabbed the tubers out of the ground? That could only be done during daylight hours. God intended for us, nature intended for us to consume food, digest it, and to be active during the day primarily. So if you're eating at night, that's also going to create that insulin resistance. So those are the four factors. Number one, being overweight. Number two, eating too many damn carbs. That's over 120 grams or so per day. Number three, eating constantly. And number four, eating at night. All of these things contribute to insulin resistance. And that means your body is going to pump out more of it than it needs to, the insulin. And ultimately, it's going to put a tremendous burden on the organs of your body, starting with your brain all the way down to those kidneys. All right, gentlemen, take care of yourselves. I invite you to join the conversation with myself and other men and what we're all doing to find that inner savage and bring him to life.
not only for our benefit, but for the benefit of those around us, people we care about. All right, man, stay strong.